Finally, in this section, we want to talk about the menus. As we've been adding menus to our site, they're of course out of order, and we've been adding them as we've gone with views and basic pages. Let's see how we can manage this menu system. Go to Structure and scroll down and click on Menus. We have a number of different menus here that come with Drupal out of the box, six to be exact. We're interested in the main navigation menu, so could you click on Edit Menu? Here's where we get to click and drag and reorder our menu links. Let's drag Home to the top and Upcoming Events. You can reorder these any way you want. Go ahead and click Save. Now, we've got events and upcoming events. Let's go ahead and click Events Up, and then drag upcoming events over to the right, creating a submenu. That's pretty simple. Click Save, and let's take a look at our front page. You'll notice that now I've got four menus. Wait a minute. Where did my event submenu go? Something to remember, not all themes in Drupal support submenus or drop-down menus, and Bartik is one of them. In the next section, we'll talk more about themes and how you can overcome this limitation. For now, go back to Structure, Menus, and edit the main menu, and drag that back over, clicking Save. One of the more difficult things in Drupal is adding menu links to specific areas of your site. So for instance, in Drupal, you can't just add a menu to all of the nodes in the article content type. There's no way to do that. You create a view, and then you create the menu. And hopefully, that makes sense. What if I need a link to a particular node or a particular section of my site that does exist? Drupal does make it a little difficult to create these menu links directly to certain areas. What I usually find is I'll go and look at the URL and then just copy and paste it. So for instance, if I wanted a menu link to my forums, what I would first do is scroll back out to the site, go to the forums page, and grab the actual URL, which is just slash forum. Come back over and edit my menu, Click Add Link, give it a title called Forum, and paste the link in. Once again, if you're looking for a specific piece of content, the great thing is you can just type a letter like F or G, and all of the nodes that start with that letter will show up. So for instance, if I type an A, here are all of the nodes that have an A in the title. And I can just select that it'll tell me that that's node ID number one. If I want an internal path, such as the ability to add a node, then it would be slash node slash add. If I want to link to the home page, it would be front. But I want slash forum here. This is a link to the forum. And click Save. And now I have a link to the forum. Let's just double check that that works. And indeed it does. So there's a little bit of playing around with this in the menu system. You'll find it easiest to create menu items on the fly, like when you're creating a view or a content item that requires a menu item.